in that cycle you got to go through where you go through the same thing over and over. Okay, okay, God, like how many times do I have to clean your dirt before I get you to the place where I can throw you in the heat, in the mm-hmm. fire, you know what I'm saying, to get it's everything real. out. So I got you mm-hmm. spotless, and now I got you wrinkled. And then, you know, if it's not enough, you still got to iron it. Mm-hmm. So what you mean, you got three different processes. You know, you, I'm washing you. I'm making you clean mm-hmm. on a daily basis. I'm making you clean. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Then I got to throw you in the heat because I don't think you got it all together. That's to take you out the heat. Then I got to put the press on. My and with God. The, and, and I got to put the press on. Man. Then I can hang you the up to say, hey, you. so you can wear it. Mm-hmm. That's My right. God. You can wear that garment clean. You can That's wear right. it, you know what I'm saying, with, with power. You got to present yourself. Go yes, line. exactly. I, I think that I think that that's powerful because a lot of us we in this day and time we pay so much attention to our outer garment but we're not paying attention to what our garment looks like in the spirit. You know, sometimes, you know, the person that looks like they're on fleek, but they're not. (laughs) (laughs) Got to add it in there now. Come on. (laughs) But they're naked in the spirit. They're unguarded in the spirit. And when Mm -hmm. those fiery darts come, they don't have on the whole armor of God. And a lot of times, you know, we resist that process because of the brokenness. Mm -hmm. But if we run to the wrinkles, if we run to the spot, there we can be made whole, there we can be healed. So a lot of times the enemy will try to use that brokenness to keep us away from looking at ourselves. But if we actually run to it, then God will be able to do a perfect work where he can actually turn our ashes into beauty. Ooh. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes, God. Oh, wow. Amen. I want to go back to something. Minister Ramonica said about um, the things that causes us to bleed on other people. Wow. Could you give an example of, of that? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's powerful. <laughs> well, I tell you this. I am a licensed counselor. And, um, you know, I work with well-intended people. You know, in this field, everybody wants to help, whether it's counseling or whether it is ministry. But there is seasons when we are bleeding where we have to let down pride and actually receive the help that we're so used to giving other people. Mm-hmm. And it's okay to bleed. You know, we're, and that's why I was getting ready to say one of the things that the minister said. It prompted me to realize how gentle we are to be with people. You know, there was a season where I had a lot of issues at my office. You know, I kind of like was on the run. God was wrinkling some things off of me, you know. And I went to the library and I used their fax machine. And one of the people had a very nasty attitude. And I had to let the woman know know, you know, who was gentle with me, thank you, because you have no idea what I was wrestling with. You have no idea what I was facing. So that's why it's so important to be loving and gentle and caring and use that Holy Spirit, because people are going through broken seasons where God is allowing us to be broken, so he can build us up, and he can make us anew. And during that time, we don't want to break people even more so out of our own brokenness. Wow, man. Really this is why it's so important to carry the fruit of the Spirit with you. You know, and wow. the fruit is going to keep you in mind of what you're supposed to do with people and just in general while you're on this side. Yes, ma'am. So if you are loving and kind and you're meek and you're humble and you're gentle and all of the fruit that, that are there, mm-hmm. if you begin to possess it, then what happens is then God can remove some of the the hurts that you have. But the problem is we have people that are sitting in church that is not allowing those processes to happen. They may do it for one person, but they, oh, I don't like her that much or him that much, so I'm going to just go hard on him. But we have to do it with everybody. You can't pick or choose who you want to love today. No, or you got frenemies. That's out. God says, I love you, and I love everybody else, so I want you to do the same thing if you're going to represent him in the earth. That's right. Like, when you're going through hardship, you got to exercise your You got to exercise. You got to make it part of your life. You know, you got to to practice this and know it till it comes a part of you. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't exercise it, 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 it's going to be like that. You're not going to know when you're hurting people. Mm-hmm. Wow. So when you exercise, you get in shape for it, mm-hmm. it, it then it starts coming, you know, come natural. Mm-hmm. You know, that's just like athletes, you know, 
They practice the sound place over and over and over mm-hmm. till it comes into play when they need it. So you got to exercise that love and gentle in your heart. You got to exercise. You got to practice it every day. Amen. 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 Wow. wow. Man, y'all are on fire. Y'all on the bottom. Just right? good. It's feeling clean. <laughs> that's good. That's, 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 that's my name, Love Bleach. Just a cup. Just a cup. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. Amen. So. <coughs> I'm having one ear working on these things. I heard a little fuzz. Yeah, no, that's.